upload something? Oh no, I was looking it up. Uh, this one is the one he was saying. I saw some Subnautica thing, so I was just like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. It's for like D and D, but Subnautica. Which is kind of cool, I suppose. Okay. Which one do you want to try first? Oh, this the Subnautica Whatever. one? Whatever. Yeah, somebody like made a Subnautica thing. But I don't know what you'd do with it. Well, you can't actually flip this table. Anyways, uh, yeah, do pick someone. <laughs> Okay, um... I forgot about this one. <laughs> <laughs> More time. Wait, whoa, whoa, we can't have that on stream, whoa, bro! music, music, music. <laughs> no, 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 no. The, the... Cover it, cover it, cover it, cover it. <laughs> cover it up. <laughs> go, 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 go. Wait, wait, oh, we can't have that? it. Oh, is it Jared Leto? Or what did the words can't say? Have him on <laughs> Morbin time having sex. Jesus fucking Christ! Oh wait, Morbius has sex. <laughs> the train from the subway scene. What? Okay. Uh, erase. It's so <laughs> what? How do you? Where's the actual? There is no actual game here. <laughs> okay, because like, uh, okay. advance to one space. This is the only space. There is no space. No, no. There's two spaces. Oh. <laughs> These two spaces. <laughs> um, I I don't want to be Morbius. Actually, I want to be the train from the subway scene. I want to be the guy who gets morbed. <laughs> Okay, uh, you can go first. Okay, okay, okay. I got it too. Have sex. Damn. I win! Damn. Okay, uh, let's go to this one. Knucklebones from Cult of the Lamb. Are we still having that music? Can you hear the music, by the way? No, I have music off. MP3 is shut off. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to know what it Why is still like playing? <laughs> okay, um... I don't know what this is. I'm not gonna I also know. don't know how to play this. Is there rules? There is. Knuckle Bones. Uh, oh, I know what Knuckle Bones is. I haven't seen this in a long time, though. No idea how you play it, either. <clears throat> Players alternate turns, rolling a six-sided dice and placing it in one of three columns. Each die is worth the equivalent amount of points on its face. That is to say, a die with number five is worth five points, and so on. Real trick, however, comes down to the combos. If a player has two or three dice showing the same number in a single column, their values are added together and multiplied by the number of matches. Okay. If a player places a die that matches one or more dice... In their opponent's corresponding column, all of their opponent's matching dice are removed. This allows you to get rid of high scoring dice, even doubles or triples, as long as you have somewhere for your matching dice to go. Okay. Oh. Okay. I don't get it. So we have to roll a die. I, that, that's step one. And then we put it in one of our spaces. <laughs> and then we do it again. I mean, he's going first. We're just... Okay, so you got a two? Yep. Is it column or row? It, it, it's column. Okay. So you it already has your points tallied. So you have eight. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, let me roll my second, if it'll let me pull one out. There we go. 
I got a four. Sad days. Why is gravity, like, broken? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Kind, yeah, it is kind of a little broken. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do that. Come on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Upset. To be fair, I'm just rolling big numbers. I know. <sighs> there we go. You can't take my sixes. Can't take my twos. I actually was trying to get a two, like really badly. So does that take my ones? Only if I put it in the same column. Okay. But since you have the three there, I can't put it in that column. Bruh. <laughs> That's annoying as crap. Yeah. There we go. Well, I think you've won this. So what does that do? Um that removes your dice. Okay. So that removes your one. And then it's your turn. We've got to finish this. Okay. Why? I've got to. I've got to run downstairs for a bit. Oh, okay. Won't be long. Maybe like thirty minutes. You keep getting twos. I know. <laughs> My power grows. Don't you dare. Damn. Well, I you can't you literally cannot win. Yeah. I I mean if I get another 5. No. Yeah. GG. Would have been if it was a 5. 47 yeah, to 64. Yep, nope, can't. Alright, cool. I'll be right back. GG easy. Ugh. Yeah, we kind of just were looking through it, and we were looking through the workshop and got a bunch of games. Uh... Just randomly, and the Morbius one is just the weirdest one. Okay, let's look at the Shovel Knight board card game, though. Okay, it's just taking a minute. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is a lot. Okay, notebook. This was Justice.
Okay. The main objective of a game of justice is to claim more game, more gems than the opponent by finding ways to push their own cards to gems. To start the game, one has to pick a card from their deck. Each card has one or more arrows pointing in a certain direction. The arrows indicate where one can push another card towards. The game has three end conditions. When no more valid moves can be made, when all of the open squares are full, or when a player has no cards left at the start of the turn, should this happen, the other player automatically wins regardless of the status of the gems. Although gem sweep, a victory with all gems claimed by a single player can still occur. Player cannot pull a put a card directly on a gem, they have to push one to the gem. One cannot place a card on graveyard squares, but they can be pushed there. That is unless the card has the grave ability or it pushes another card that has that ability. Okay. Players can't push a card against a card with an opposing arrow more or equal in strength. Okay, that makes sense. Key cards can be purchased to have an advantage in their single-use items. There are different arrows. At the end of the game, the player has the most gems is declared winner. So, Justice hands always consist of three cards. The number below each deck indicates your remaining cards. If you run out of cards, you lose. I'm trying to find how the setup is, or if there is, like, a way to set this up. Oh, we have the starter decks. Uh, I'm assuming gems and rocks would be on the 12 spaces on the outside. Oh, center spaces. Okay. That makes sense. Da -da -da. That is not how you spell random. Mm. So we have how many gems? How many gems do we put down? Is it like three, four, three gems? So we got four, nine, and seven. And then there are rocks, pits, and pit covers. Pits will eat one card before being blocked off and they can be placed on top of it again. Okay.
Okay. <laughs> Um, well, it looks like no one's ever going first. I didn't know you could do that in tabletop sim. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but, like, what? It won't let me draw. Okay. Yeah, at least won't let me draw to my hand, I should say. Yeah, I, I mean, it's just a starter deck, so I was figuring it was probably going to be, like... I'm more just getting these out of the way to see what cards there all are. Okay. I'm just seeing like what the cards even are. Okay, so those are the 16 default cards that are in the decks. So the outer rim is graveyard spots. We can't put cards on gem spots. I mean, adding these cards in, I've, I have no idea. Or adding these cards, I guess, too. Probably not on this. Yeah. It won't even let me. Oh, 
I know why. Now it'll probably let me draw cards like that. How many do we need? We need 16 cards, right? Four, 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 and four. I am back. What are you um, playing? We're trying to figure out how to do Joustus, the Shovel Knight game. Okay. Uh, well, I would be red over here, correct? Yeah. Okay. So what do I have to do? Not, not these cards. Not these cards. Okay. So... Shuffle all these ones, and then get four from each. Draw to hand or what? Yeah, just draw to your hand, then put them on the thing. Cards of the skull can be placed on graveyard tiles. You can't put. You're trying to collect the gems, but you can't just like put on the gems. I, I don't know what you're talking like okay so trying to collect the gems but you can't put them onto the gems yes okay that's a card slot so all of these are card slots except for the corners so the dark ones are only graveyard slots so these are graveyards yes so if your card has a skull on it you can put them there but if it doesn't have a skull okay. you cannot put it there so how do we start this Um, well, I flipped for it. What if I want a rock on a coin? Uh, do you see what the coin flipped to? Oh, what the heck? Hang on. Um, I'm honestly confused on what the arrows are. Like, is this arrow move two spaces or push two spaces? Then this one three. And then in any direction or... And then also, like, could I just put a thing here and then just be like... Okay, so they push against normal arrows. Like, could I just, like, put this here and then... Basically just get these two gems? Or is are we not supposed to know what cards are in our hand? I don't either, that's why I'm asking. You're trying to push cards onto the gems, the arrows just to state how they can push other cards. Okay. 
So, like, say I have this card, and I put this card. Does that mean that this card would push this card onto the gem? Essentially. Oh, so I'd put the card like this, and it would push this one over here. Okay. And then I'm assuming... And we'd get to... We get to see our three cards. Can, can you see the three cards I have here? Yes. Okay. So do we get to see our three cards? That is a very good question. Okay. <laughs> I do have... says something because i can't even see you're it. allowed to see your own cards oh so do they need to be in hand because that's how that sounds I don't know what this stuff means. What is this sumo gold armor? Double and slam. You can see the enemy hand as well. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? What's up? I'm going to look up and like actually watch Joustus in Shovel Knight. That's probably going to be the easiest way to figure out how to play this. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is so loud. I broke it. not make sense to me. Um your team. Your time. Your turns. Welcome back to the basement the friendliest place on YouTube. Peter got some and inside the just you can push stuff off into the Wait, is it Harry? So he can't, you can't just place a tile on, here we go, I'm gonna win. On the green. You Boom, you can't just place on. a tile on the green, you have to push it onto it. Yeah. Scary. Mm, okay. I feel wary. This is scary. Okay. My back is getting hairy. Ugh. Did you hear about Prince Harry? I'm just gonna mute them. Okay, so red went first. Beetle pushed that one to the graveyard. So is your what is is your goal to push things to your side of the graveyard or So the goal is to push a card onto the gem. Oh, 
we'll so you want to collect the gems? That is a very good question. Do you need bomb? Because that sounds about right. Also, do these turn sideways when they come out here? No, they, they're, they're literally... Okay. Oh, so wait, 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 wait. We're in the wrong places. We're not. Oh, I... So why is everything sideways? Well, I mean, it's... So, if you look to... Like, the side. The side that this these gems are on... That is, like, the way that the... Board is oriented. That's how the board's oriented in the video game. Understood. Yeah, we, we, we know. Hey, I fixed it. Um. Well, that is particularly odd. I have to say, I'm really freaking hungry, man. But we ain't got no food. Yeah, I'm literally just looking up how to... I'm just looking up people playing it. Uh, he tried to give us the wiki for justice. Uh, I, I I have the wiki up. Okay. So, game ends when there's no more valid moves that can be made. Arrows indicate which direction your card can push. Push the card you already placed to claim the gem. Okay, well, let's just hop into it. Um, okay. Whoever lands on go, uh, places their card first. Okay. Okay. Um... So do you get to move your sideways which and on next turn? Depending on what uh card I use. Okay. What happens if one of my characters hits your character? Um 
Good question. Uh, you're trying to use that one. What's that card's name? Luan. Double engrave. So it pushes here. it pushes standard arrows and blocks double arrows. Or it can be placed on graveyard squares. Okay. Okay, so it yeah, it can't be moved. It can't be moved? Yeah. My my ax my axolotl can't be, I should say. Okay, so it can't move into the gym. For three turns. Jeez. Okay. But it can be moved from the top or bottom. Okay. So I believe you could technically place yours on mine and move it down so is it pushing it on it or above it and knock it down so i believe you put it on the thing okay yeah but the graveyard card can only be moved by other graveyard cards the one that you have there Okay, so what is what is so does it? So if you if you if you only if you only have that one graveyard card, it cannot move the entire game, unless I were to move it with a graveyard card of my own. Okay. Which. Okay, so the arrows are defense as well as attack. Okay, I understand this now. <laughs> I, I think. Don't. I'm going to put that there. Okay. <laughs> Swaps the color of all cards it pushes. Oh, okay. It didn't push any cards, though, so... I know. I believe it would now be your turn. Okay, so could I then put Slime Alacra on top of it and push yours up? I believe so. Just, just, yeah, just do that. Okay. Oh, okay. And then draw any card. Hover Hoft. Which I assume does the same thing as Hover Mini. Um, I'm gonna put that card's dead now. Okay. So does that go to card storage? Or is it just sitting in graveyard? I believe it just sits in the graveyard and just can't be used. Alright. It has so also if I been the color of if I switch the color of your axe along roll. It's it will I think it will it still only has it has one turn before it can actually be moved still. I don't know how cards get okay, so left. It's been two turns, so th the next time you play a card. Also, aren't you supposed to put two more cards in these spots? Look, shut up. Could have changed what you did. Just hit F. Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna change what I did. Okay, fair enough. 
All right, my uh, my choose. Yeah. Hard choose. <laughs> Smack it. No wait. Uh. So, at this moment in time, I cannot move the axolongle. Correct. Uh, you can move it up and down, but not left or right. I'm gonna hover off. Can I hover off this guy into the graveyard? Or no? Seems like something you'd be able to do. It also doesn't have all of the abilities of the cards on here. Like, for the hover cards, it literally, the ability says, uh, template tags slash D yellow. Alright, so I'm assuming that changes the color of this guy. Or can you not have two cards in the same graveyard position? Only one card can occupy graveyard space, so you just can't put your hover thing there. Okay, okay, okay. Sounds cool, sounds cool. So basically, I have it so Sumo can literally only move left or right. Okay. I'm not putting that there, I was just moving up. Okay, I was going to say... And it would be your turn. Okay, so now, if I hover hoffed his axolongle, does that flip color? It should, yeah. So that means it belongs to me, my color. Yes. This would be Therefore, a red Therefore, it one. would also push it into the gem, giving yes. me the gem. Yes. Well, I have to grab the gem. Yes, yes, yes. Which, how do you change the color? I j we know it's red. We know it's red. Sounds cool. Oh wait, color tint. Red. And it won't. It won't. Re it won't. Re it won't refresh the arrows. I know. Okay. You, you just keep the gem on it on the square at least. Okay. Uh, literally nothing can move there, so. Yeah, unless it goes down. N no, because you can't place on it. Well, I mean, can't you technically push something down on top of Sumo and push it into that? I don't think so. Okay. That looks cool. It's your go. Give me a second. I'm I'm looking at something. Oh, okay. So that's what that is. Okay. What is this game called? Joustice. Switch is an ability. Cause the orientation of certain arrows to change while being pushed. And that 
flips the vertical arrow. It that flips the up arrow to a down arrow for Fleeto. Sounds good to me. Oh, the bubble frog's arrow changes to a top arrow. Okay. Um, whoops, not that way. So technically, it's like that now. Yeah. All right. So is that is that my go? Yeah, it is now your turn. So can I put a toad strike on top of this guy and push him into the gym? I think it's blocking that. Just has Drake pushing he, the hover off? I think it is because it's a double arrow. I think you'd need stronger than a double arrow. Okay. Unless I'm mistaken. Can I, like, plague minion on top of him? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can actually... Oh, oh wait, no, no. Uh, what, what do you say? What do you say? Can I plague minion on top of him? Or on top of this guy? Okay, so this thick boy can do it, but... Sad days. Uh, okay, I see, yeah. Um, so what if I were to put a Toad's Drake on top of my Bone Clang and push Bone Clang down? Plague Mini can push the Hover Dude up, thus pushing that whole row up. But bomb arrow cards feature symbols represent a bomb within a diamond, which take the place of push arrows and regular cards. When a bomb arrow card is initially played, the bomb arrow itself will work the same way as a standard arrow. Okay. Once a bomb arrow card has been... You can't put that there? Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, so what does the plague minion now do? Hardy. <laughs> Once a bomb arrow card is successfully placed, the bomb arrow's actual effect then comes into play when a bomb arrow card is pushed in the direction their bomb is facing, and it pushes another card in the process. Okay. Why is... why is... Toad, toad float that, that's just what they said. Okay. Once a bomb arrow has been successfully placed, the bomb arrow's actual effect then comes into play. When a bomb arrow card is pushed in the direction their bomb is facing. So if your plague mini gets pushed up or left, and it pushes another card, the card it pushed into will be destroyed. So if that goes up, it'll just destroy hover shaft or hover ha haft. If it goes left, nothing happens. Okay. What if it goes? Okay, if it goes left, nothing happens. Yeah. But it, I'd get the gem, would I not? Yes. Okay. Can you steal gems from people? I would assume so. I just did that. So well. <laughs> Okay, um, so Rick, I'm getting the feeling that like you owe me a game of inscription. I have a feeling that your plague minion's dead. I don't care. Are you out of card? Okay, I was about to say, bro. I have eight cards. It just wouldn't let me put one down. You just, just grab, grab the whole quick. thing. Well, you don't. If you click and hold, it'll pick up the whole thing. Grab click. 
Okay, your turn. Uh, okay. Uh, and this one, it switches the right area O to a left arrow. Yeah. Okay, so... Which prevents it from being pushed from that direction. So it can't Unless be pushed up or down, way. and it cannot be pushed right. It can be pushed left. Yes. That's <laughs> gross. Which means you get it next turn. Yes. Okay, cool. Then you win. I'm not... I mean... I, I don't have a play... Unless you want me to just, like, toss your hover mini in the grave. Yeah, you actually can't do anything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did you download the inscription one? Or was yeah. I the person who downloaded that? I downloaded it. Okay. Propeller Knight could push the flying veto. Eh, it's fine. He, he conceded. Okay. Okay, um so how do I play? Okay, so hang on. So your squirrels Oh okay, I'm I'm going through because this is also a little different. Also, why are there so many tickers? Jesus Christ. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> We have eight tickers. <laughs> uh, your creature's health and power. Okay. To keep active. Okay, so. Oh Jesus! I haven't responded to India in almost two hours. Jokes on you! I I called Ruby whenever I went to get gas. Whenever you went to get gas? Yeah, what the heck was that? Uh, I don't know if that was... I, I, I have it downloaded. He just wants to play Inscription first. I just heard something terrifying. In-game? I don't know if that was in-game or not. I didn't hear anything in game, so. That's terrifying. Okay. Anyways, uh. So. Okay. Each Sweet. player picks one. Each player picks one card. Oh. From one of the it actually two has card no piles books. in the middle. All right, so main deck, squirrel deck, extra deck. Each player picks one card from one of the two card piles in the middle, then swap and pick from the card piles continuously until you each have 20 cards. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, okay. So I pick from the other one. Yep. I picked from this one. And then we swapped. We're no, never mind. We're, we're good. Right? Hmm? Are we doing this right? Uh, it's okay. Just I don't have. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I shuffled them up, anyways. Just go. Um, I have eight. Alright, I'm at 20. I'm at 20. Okay. So, these um, are your squirrel cards. These are squirrels. All squirrels. We're over here? Okay. Yes. Sorry. On this side here, with the line through it, that's your discard pile. So, whenever a card dies, it'll go okay. there. 
So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to roll a d10. Sorry, give me a second. Eight. I'm not I'm not good at I'm not good at tabletop sim. <laughs> it's okay. I you also know you can just Rick, Rick, Rick. Yeah. Rick. What the fuck happened? Is to that my what card? was sliding against the wall a minute ago? This scared the crap out of me. No. I about walked up and locked my door. No, I would have. I would have just locked. I would have grabbed my metal stick, locked the door. Okay. Toss him. Just toss him. Overhand. Overhand, mom. Overhand. Okay. I love how you just don't believe me on anything. Thank you. Okay, roll, roll, roll your your. Um, content. we are actually supposed to look at these cards. Um. Each player picks one card from one of the two card piles in the middle, then swap and pick from the card piles continuously until you each have twenty cards. Oh, so we're and then and then and then set aside the card what? piles and pick fifteen from your twenty to play I just with. Never did, mom. Okay. I know. I mean, I'm cool with whatever I got. Almonds. Okay, so here's my 15. You're 15. You're supposed to have 20. Yeah. Did you not read the rules? No, not yet. Set aside I the card piles and pick 15 cards from your 20 to play with. This will be your main hang on, deck. Hang on. Just... <laughs> Go. You can slide them. I was trying to help you. You're distracting the crap out of me. I'm trying to get you play this. What is it? A game. <laughs> okay. So I'm pulling five out, right? Yes, pull five out. These not spread out. Jeez. I pulled my five out. I know. So th these five are meant for countering the opponent's draft picks, is what it says. And then D twenty, whoever rolls higher goes first. Um, I believe I rolled an eight. Three. Okay, so I want that, that, that. Four. And let's go for that, and I'll toss that. All right. Okay. I have 15. Uh, at the start of the game, both players draw one squirrel and three cards from their main deck. Before each turn, you draw either from your main deck or the squirrel deck, except on the first turn of the starting player. Yep. So we get so... one squirrel. And then three, right? Or four. And three cards from the main deck. That's the 15 cards that we just got, right? No, main deck is technically... No, I'm sorry. Yeah, that is what we just did. Okay. 
Um... <clears throat> and then before each turn, you draw either from your main deck or the scroll deck, except on the first turn, which obviously. And then a player can attack on the first turn. For each point of damage dealt, add one tooth or d8 from the large bowl to your nice. opponent's bowl. So... If you take damage while there are still teeth in your opponent's bowl, put them back into the big bowl first. We're adding more to your bowl. First to get 10 teeth in your opponent's deck. bowl wins. The 49? No. Okay, so I know what these cards are. Oh, it says extra deck for evolutions and spawns. So... Like, if something, if you wanted to start with boulders and chimes. Okay. Stuff like that. But yeah. Um, Let's just not do those then. Okay. So, who's going first? I mean, I, I got an eight. You go first. Because I don't know, I don't really know what's going on. All right, so we should yeah. only have four in our hand. All right, so right, I'm going to, yes, you will draw a card on your turn. I will not on this first turn. So, so wait, I'll have five. Girl, you'll have five. I okay. won't because I I'm going first. Okay. Disadvantage for going first. So I'm going to play a squirrel. I'm going to sacrifice said squirrel. That will give me one bone token. And then I will use the blood that I got from the squirrel, which is the blood cost here, to play a bullfrog. Okay. Bullfrogs have the symbol that allows them to block flyers. Flyers okay. cannot block flyers, only things that have the fly shield. Okay. And then whenever I ding the bell, he'll turn, deal one damage to you. Uh, I guess, no. There. Normally, it's weight on a scale. I guess I'll put it on my side. So I need to draw either from the scroll deck or the main deck, correct? Right. Correct. <clears throat> and then squirrels, I can just place down no cost, right? Mm-hmm. going to sacrifice those. That gives me two bone tokens, right? Thank you. Uh, and that gives me two blood, right? Yes. Wild bull. And then that's... That would do three damage to my two at the end of turn whenever you ring your bell. Alright, so he'll die. Yeah. And then I'll take one damage. Uh, I should have that one, right? No, I'm just... Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Got it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. It's weird, because normally it's a scale and you're putting it on yeah. the opponents. It's teeth that you're pulling, but yeah. Um, I will... If you take damage while there's still teeth in your opponent's bowl, put them back into the big bowl first before adding more to your bowl. I'm going to put a squirrel down. I... I'm confused about that, but okay. I'm trying to think, does damage trample over? Damage doesn't trample over. So you shouldn't oh, have? No, you shouldn't. Because I hit you when you didn't have anything. Yeah, so I should have damage. Okay, yeah. You have damage. You trample. shouldn't. Yeah, okay. I'm going to... Sack a squirrel. Okay. And play a flying ant, which has power equal to the number of this this symbol on the board. So it'll have one power. It'll deal one to you. Okay. The turn. There you go. And then I get a bone. Um, I'm gonna 
say your enemy has two teeth in their bowl and you take five damage, the two from them you still... They're trying to make it seem like it's a skill. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna... Sense? Sack a squirrel. Get Kingfisher. That gives me a bone token, right? Yes. So I have three bone tokens. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, whenever I ring the bell, you take three damage, right? And, and your then... flying ant dies. Um. Yes. No. Uh, flying goes straight over. So flying will just hit me. Even though yours uh, is a flying creature. Correct. If it only blocks flying, if it has the flying shield. Okay. But so, it doesn't attack the creature in front of it? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, flying just goes straight to the face, so I'll have okay. four. But that goes from... Wait, you had zero, right? Yeah, zero. So, so I'll you... just... Yeah. No. Because you take four, right? Yeah. You only have two. Okay. It takes and two then, from me and gives two to you. After damage is dealt, Kingfisher flips. It does okay. not exist. So because it has this underwater symbol, it dives under. Oh, okay. So, I so can't, it can't be hit? Yeah. Okay. But that also leaves you defenseless there. Yeah. What does the um, symbol on Wild Bull do? The... Oh, what is that? Uh, let me check. I, I don't remember that one, actually. I mean, it kind of seems long. like it goes back to the hand. No. It moves in the, the direction inscribed. That's what I thought. I mean, can it move any further than this, or? It'll just turn around and move the opposite direction. Okay, so it move here after one turn, and that would be the second turn, so it just moved there. Yeah. And it would just keep moving. It will move one over and then just keep moving like that. Yeah. Okay. If there's something in the way, I think it pushes it. Pushes it pushes anything in its way. I, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, I believe it would be your turn now. Yeah. So that has the... Also, I'm only supposed to be drawing so... one card, right? Yeah. Or am I supposed to be drawing up to five? No, you just draw one. Okay. You'll get to the point where you run out of cards. I'm going to... Man, I've got to get something out. But... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just... <laughs> so whenever you hit the bell wild bull will deal damage and flip or er, and then move and then kingfisher will flip after damage essentially so sigil effects um if sacking kingfisher would get me a bone right correct okay Sacrificing any animal gives you at least one bone. If it says otherwise, like if it has multiple bones on it or something like that, it'll give you that many bones. Okay. Um, there's a couple zero drop ghosts. Uh, because this is two blooded, give me two blood, right? No. No. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm just, 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 at, just wondering. Yeah. There's actually, I think, one creature in the game that gives you multiple bloods, and it's the goat. Okay. The goat gives you three. So you can play a squirrel, play a goat, and play a four drop. Sack both, play a four drop. So you're going to deal a four, giving me four. You should have five in total. I know, but I'll, I'll get four right there. So yeah, yeah. I'll five. I don't know if you're having fun with this, but I love this game still. I'm just a little confused. <laughs> yeah, it helps if you would have played the game. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, so after damage, flip, and then moves to the side. Okay, so it is now your turn. Yep. I will... Also, I'm just going to stack my bone tokens. Also, when you run out of squirrels, you're out of squirrels. Okay. I'm going to sacrifice the squirrel, giving myself another bone, playing a worker ant. And then I'm going to swing with both, dealing two per. So I'll draw up four. Wait, two per? So their power is... Oh, I, I understand. I understand now. I understand now. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Here we go. So I will draw a squirrel, sacrifice it. You just drew all of your squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> I will draw a single squirrel, <laughs> play it, sacrifice it, give me a bone. That gives me four bones. I'm gonna spend these just, four bones. Just delete. Just delete bones. And get a coyote. Oh, gross! You disgust me. I hate this. Oh, this is gonna suck for me. You removed my entire insect strategy. Bye bye, worker um, ant. Worker ant dies, I'll get a bone. And then you get uh four, four. damage. Yeah. Yep. And wobble will move. And Kingfisher flips. Upset. My goat? Yeah. Uh, I've got to look up what this symbol does. What? It is not listed? Question mark? Um, what's the symbol? It's a bell. The bell like, symbol. Like, no, like this bell. Not, not the, uh, not the bellest, not chimes. Um, it's on a kraken. I just can't remember which one, which one that does. The bell means it does more damage depending on how many turns has passed. Ah, so we have not kept track of how many turns. No. Since, since it came out or just in general? <clears throat> since it came out okay well that does not help me because it won't stay alive for long enough to no. actually deal damage so I'm not playing my squirrel screw you <laughs> one damage <laughs> I mean, you just die this turn, then. Yeah, two. Because I do five. six damage. Yep. <clears throat> GG. I'm literally just going to draw a card and then ring a bell. That's game. Yep. Just reset the board? Like, the whole thing? Yeah. We'll do one more of this, and then we'll switch to something else. Okay, so... Are we supposed to be looking through these? I would assume so. Since we are, we choose between them. I, I, I did not wait for it to be shuffled. Yeah, I can tell. No, pack rats don't help you in this. <clears throat> uh, it basically, I mean, basically that's what it is. We choose 
uh, five of the cards to discard of the 20 we draw. What the fuck is this, Gabe? Hmm? What the fuck? That's the that's that's the Kraken with the thing. Oh, okay. Um, yes. Okay, I think I have my cards. All right. Uh, do you want me to go first? I mean, I feel like I should, right? I don't understand how it works, but his cost... Mole Man? Yeah. So he moves to block whatever he can. Okay. He is the ultimate... Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's the ultimate defense card. I was about to say that. Well, I mean, I go first, right? Since we're just going to do that, since you went first last time. Yeah. Well, I'm going to play Squirrel. Sacrifice the squirrel, and then play Mole Man. Heck yeah. Go for it, bro. Right. I'm gonna draw a card. And then he just blocks everything, basically, right? Yeah, basically. I'm going to... Uh, you know what? I can honestly say I do not understand what that means. So basically, whenever it sacrifices, it doesn't leave the board. It just gives you a bone, and it flips it gives me from a, being... Does it give me a blood as well, Yes. Then? Yes. It just never leaves the board. Okay. So I can just play a scroll? <clears throat> Sacrifice the squirrel and get child 13. Yep. It can be killed, by the way. It just can't be sacked. Yeah. Like it, it won't it won't die from sacking. Yeah. Okay. That also give me a bone. So I have two bones. Yep. Easier. Okay, your turn. Oh, I forgot to Yeah, I was about to say I didn't hear no bell. I'm gonna play a squirrel. I'm going to play another squirrel. I'm going to sacrifice a squirrel, giving myself one bone. I'm playing a black goat. I'm going to sacrifice one squirrel and play a flying ant, giving myself a bone. I'm going to sacrifice the flying ant first and then the magpie, giving myself two. Or and then the, the black goat. goat. Then give myself two bones, giving myself a magpie. I get to search for any card of my in my deck and put it in my hand. And then you also still have two blood from the black goat, correct? Wait, you have two of those? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, and then I'm going to sacrifice all. No, the the black the the goat's blood is already used on spending something. It doesn't float. Oh, okay. I used all my bones and play an alpha. <clears throat> okay. Uh, giving this a one boost, so magpie is one bigger. <clears throat> and then ring bell, swing three. And Mole Man will block all of it, and he'll go down by three health. So he's zero three now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then it is your turn. Wait, so the Alpha's ability is that it could use either its attack or health to attack? No, no, no. No, it. It beefs up this, so my magpie is. Oh, actually... okay, okay, okay. I okay, I understand. I understand. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You don't get to use like you don't have extra blood sitting to the side. Um. That's why there's no tokens for it or anything. But what I'm hearing is, so I can put a squirrel down, mm -hmm. and then sacrifice squirrel and child thirteen. Mm-hmm. And get this wolf. I don't I don't remember what it changes the child into. Like I know it's a flying dragon, I know that much, but like I don't remember what uh, its power it gains is. flying and two power. Okay. <clears throat> so um I should get I get a bone every time I sacrifice child thirteen, right? Yes. And then you should also put your the powers on the counters below. Or I can just put the modifiers on the counters. Fair enough. I'm just putting the flat counters. And that will deal 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, Child 13 hasn't awakened yet. Well, you just sacked him to get Wolf. Yeah, it has to be sacrificed 13 times. No, it doesn't. The wiki says when it's sacrificed 13 times, it becomes awakened. Uh, huh. uh, well, in the actual game, uh, you sacrifice it once and it just becomes awakened. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it just gets two power every time it's sacrificed? Uh, no. Or, oh, it, it gains two power for this turn. And then yes. once I sacrifice it again, it goes it back. It becomes a zero one sleeping. Okay. It goes from awakened to sleeping. So you take five. Yes, I already took it. Okay. All right. Wait. I. Oh wait, never mind. Well, man. You're you're good. Yep. I right. will. See, I'm debating as to whether or not I want to grab a card from my deck or a squirrel. I'm going to grab a squirrel. I'm going to play a squirrel. I'm going to sacrifice magpie and the squirrel. Giving myself two bones to play Ouroboros. <laughs> and swing the same amount, killing Mole Man. And I die on, on your turn. <laughs> yeah. Yay. What would I have gotten from that? I should have done that, because then I could have sacked Ouroboros, played it, and then replayed Ouroboros. Or I could have just sacked Ouroboros and then set this on the ground, and then it would have... Yeah, that would have been better. Well. Game over! <laughs> Yay! I mean, I kind of... Like, I got more man first turn. Yeah. And you could only attack twice. So, yeah, that's a... Okay, so what are we trying now? Uh, the last game that was recommended to us. <clears throat> Which was... It's loading up. Okay. Or at least it should be loading up. I clicked to load it up. There it is. 
Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is very big. What are... I can see. <laughs> this looks like it's very complicated. <laughs> this looks very complicated. I can see. <laughs> okay, okay. You must select a character for a deck. Oh, you and Adachi from Persona 4. And Chie Kanji, okay. Where are the characters? Uh, these ones. I don't know a single character here, so it's all you, bud. Um. Oh, the characters are somewhere else. Oh wait. Oh, those yeah. are the boards. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I don't know a single character in this entire game. Oh wait, no, there's Street Fighter characters. Yeah. Too bad I don't remember any of their names. Okay, so here's the Shovel Knight characters. <clears throat> I don't know Shovel Knight. Never played it. Wow, oh, these are just like this art is so cool. <clears throat> I don't know, bro. I All know. of them have unique abilities. Yeah. Uh. Oh wait. Okay, do you want to do... I just clicked one. Oh, you click. Oh, you got a board. Wait. I need a character. There's a board on the screen. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just use more might. I broke it. <laughs> I kind of broke it. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> I'm picking a new character. I broke that one. How did you break it? I, that doesn't matter. Okay, you show That's Spectre Knight? Yeah. Okay. Sure, whatever whatever that one is. I have no idea, bro. Okay, so we're each able to select half a board. <clears throat> I chose Legal Woohoo Island. Sounds cool. Do um, I have to pick a notebook? Half it's not on here. Sad days. Um, the okay, um, so I hit the setup button. So this has all the normal attacks. I clicked start turn. <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> what do you keep hitting? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I had something on the right. Let me read. Let me read. Let me read. Never. Never. 
It's my turn. Info, clear that game start. If time runs out, finish turn in two more. Draw if neither player can win. Chess clock. <laughs> Gain set amount of time per player. If, if gap between player times exceeds 120 seconds, when slower player runs out of time, slower player loses if game clock runs out. Final destination. Gain set amount of time per round. If time runs out, game ends immediately. Do not finish the turn. Do not collect $200. No items. Disables all timers. Monopoly question mark? Um, we're gonna do no items. So, disable all timers. I'm so confused. Each player pl must place their character's cards on the third space from their left. Okay. Why, is, why does mine not go right? <laughs> <laughs> what about the other two sets of cards? Yeah, sorry. Uh, it's just what came out first. Okay. Mole Knight. <clears throat> I expect uh, either a lot of explanation or a very quick death. I'm just so confused about what's going on entirely. Too. Where are the instructions? Oh, Persona 4 Arena. Okay. The first time you need to draw and you can't reshuffle your discard to form a new deck. If it runs out again, you lose the game. An EX attack has plus one power, plus one speed, plus one armor, and plus one guard. A continuous boost stays in play until either player strikes. An ultra attack... I, I don't understand what any of this means. Do an action and draw a card. What is an action? Get your entire decks on the, out on the table so you can reshuffle them. Mole Knight's Burrow is separate from his deck. I'm assuming it goes into one of these piles. Okay, you have your deck out. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, you, you should have a deck in your thing. This? It's, yes. The burrow goes in the same space as Mole Knight at the start. What is the burrow? The special ability card. Where is that? Um, I would assume it, I don't know. Did you have another card? No. Okay. I was just seeing if there's like a special ability card for any of the other characters or like specifically his character.
Okay, so how do we play? Like this. Flips the table. What? Please make sure that your deck contains about 32 cards before starting. It contains 30. Yeah, both ours have 30. And then we have, I have six reference cards. I don't know how many reference cards you have, but I have six. Player going first draws five cards, and player going second draws six. So, uh, who's going first? Who's going second? Uh, you can go first because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I draw five cards, you draw seven. Sure. Out of okay. Oh yeah. I do have a seventh draw oh, card. Sounds cool. I do not know what this is. What? What are those? You you should have six cards, not seven. Look, bro. Sorry. Look, bro. The white paper with the normals also has what you can do in your turn. Pay one. Da -da -da. Per space to move, pay two da -da -da, to switch sides. Yeah, I'm 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 very confused. Any action that isn't a strike lets you draw a card after including drawing a card. The weird lightning bolt is force which you gain by discarding cards. Okay. What? The d, -d, -d symbol. And the reference sheet to your left. The bag of chips. What about a bag of chips? You said the weird lightning bolt. It's a bag of chips. Yeah. Go ahead and decide what I wish to do. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> How do we play cards? Um. I don't think we're in blackjack anymore. <laughs> I haven't played this type of poker before. <laughs> Rick, I have I've got it. Don't don't flip the table. Maxwell. Oh. Maxwell <laughs> oh, is a very good boy. <laughs> hey Gabe. Gabe. Yeah. Uh yeah. I have Maxwell on the side of the table. Hey look. Bye bye, Maxwell. No! <laughs> you attempted. The first description is their strike effect. What happens during a strike? The second effect is their boost effect, which can be initiated as its own thing. But, like, we don't know what's going on. So if I boost cross, 
I'll advance three spaces towards my opponent. So I'll advance three spaces towards my opponent, which would be here. And then what I hit for three power and then retreat three. The bro does not move. Hey, Rick. <laughs> what? I'll do you one better. What? Fire. What the fuck? <laughs> when did you get a I cannon? Don't... I made it. <laughs> Damn it, I can't load Maxwell into it. I'm loading everything I can into it. Fire! Okay, so uh, you you take three damage, I believe. And then I retreat after. Bang. And then that Could gets discarded. And okay. I draw a card. Uh, whack. Okay, uh... Striking is separate from boosting. Well, those people have a nice house. So he doesn't take damage. Okay. So I'm still just right here, and I don't attack at all, and I used a card. Okay. Also, why is this still in my thing? I moved it. Okay, um. Hey, Rick. Okay, um, I'm getting really tired, so I'm going to end the stream here for today. No, oh, but... I'm probably not going to stream again until next Monday, so yeah, if you want to watch next Monday, we'll 
be probably be doing more tabletop sim if i'm if i'm actually able to stream next monday i might be busy so yeah i will talk to you all later